Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sliman and today we're gonna talk about how you file DS-260. Uh, when you when you USCIS approve your petition, they will send it to NVC and and the NVC will create your login information, your login credential and the, and they will send it to you. Your, your login credential is the case number and the invoice ID number. When you click on the link they sent you, it's gonna take you to this page right here. You're gonna, you're gonna first, you're gonna check, I have read the terms of the Privacy Act notice, and then you enter your case number right here, and then you hit continue. The second page is gonna enter your invoice number right here and then you're gonna select the one that apply for you petitioner applicant attorney or third agent party and then you're gonna enter the characters shown below and then you hit continue this is just a summary information they will talk they will you, they will show your case number uh, visa class number in this case cr1 cr1 uh, your case is currently at, they will show you where the case is. In this case, it's going to be in, in VC, uh, foreign state of chargeability, which country, and the interview location, where it's going to be, and the priority date. And this is where they communicate with you if they need something, your email address. We're going to go to the next page. They will show you right here how this is processed. First, you're gonna pay both fees before you start filing this 260 and uploading the required document for the petitioner and for the applicant. When you pay the fees, you're gonna you're gonna click on the IV application right here, and you go to the personal information. You will see a layer right here om control number form number which is ds 260 they're going to tell you the expiration date and estimated burden but how long is going to take you basically to to fill out ds 260. Uh, personal information one is going to be about the applicant you got to remember the first part it's about the applicant surnames is going to be the last name of the applicant given name is going to be the first name of the applicant full name in native alphabet this is very very important a lot of people miss that one you got a write the the applicant name in native alphabet and you can go google <coughs> excuse me and you're gonna find the the keyboard and then you enter it in native uh, alpha, uh, alphabet and then you copy it and then paste it that's the same thing i did over here i'm sharing my experience with you guys we're gonna go to the next page. Have you ever used other names, middle name, religious, professionals, aliases, and etc.? In my case, I said no. I said no. Current material status, first sex, male or female, is female. This is for my wife. Married, date of birth, you can enter date of birth of the applicant, city of birth of the applicant, state or province of birth for the applicant the country or region of the birth of the applicant we're going to go next page uh, next page personal information two is going to be about the applicant a uh, country region of the origin the nationality in my case is moroccan the document type we're going we're gonna to submit is a passport you're gonna put the the ID or the passport number, the country issued with the document. In my case, is Morocco, and you're gonna give the issuance date and the expiration date. They're gonna ask you, do you hold do you hold or have you held any nationality other than the one you have indicated above? And you're gonna answer yes or no. In my case, answer no. So I'm gonna go to the next page. Uh, present and preview addresses information. You gonna for this is for the applicant. We still in the page for the applicant. You're gonna put 
the stage address for the applicant, the city of the applicant, state or province. It's got, everything is going to be here for the applicant. The, the postal zone or zip code, uh, the, the country, and the start living in the address. The start date, and you're going to get the end date. Previous addresses. Have you have you lived anywhere other than this address since the age of 16? If you do, you're gonna see yes. If no, you're gonna check to the next page. If you see yes, you gotta answer them. In my case, I see yes, so I have to answer the addresses before the age uh, after the age of 16. So I put the address right here. This is for the applicant, the city, the state the postal code or zip code and the country is morocco and the start living here the start date you go to the next one and the, the end date and then you will need the phone number primary phone number the secondary phone number and the work phone number if you have them but in my case i have only just a primary uh, primary phone number have you you used any other telephone number during the last five years if you do please provide them if not go to the next page in my case I said yes so we put the other phone number right here and also they will ask you for email address if you have if you used one you can enter it right here we're gonna go to the next page you can enter the email address and they can ask you again have you used any other email addresses the, the email addresses during the last five years if you answer yes you can answer them if you answer no you're gonna continue social media is the same thing don't lie about this Facebook for example we use Facebook you're gonna give them user ID of the Facebook or the social media you use we use a couple of them so social media we use Instagram and we go and we give them user ID the same thing other social media if you do you can answer yes if no you're gonna go to the next page which is the mail and per permanent mail and permanent addresses information mail and address is your mail address the same as your present address it's up to you i don't know which one you have in my case i see yes and you're gonna answer the permanent address this is for the applicant by the way we're still in the applicant page uh, part you can enter the address, street, uh, I'm sorry, the name of the person, the applicant, and the U.S. street address. Uh, please, but I'm sorry, please, but this is a permanent address. Please provide the following information on where you tend to live after arriving in the United States. Hey, this is very important. This address right here is going to be for the petition, uh, the petitioner. This is for the petitioner. The petitioner, I'm sorry because the applicant is going to come to the petitioner so you have to answer right here the address of the person he, he lives in the united states so you're going to give the the petitioner petitioner uh, name and you're going to uh, answer the the address and the city and the state zip code and the phone number of the petitioner is the address where you want the permanent resident card mailed yeah yes it is very very important this address you know some people they don't like this address you know they don't like this they green card go to this person so they they change they, they change the address but you gotta this is the address that an nvc will use to send you the green card when you're done if you see yes you're gonna click next if you see a no you have to enter the the address where they send you the the green card next is going to be the family uh, family information here is about the applicant parent of the applicant first one is going to be the father last name first name date of birth of the father and the place of birth of the father at the city where birth took place state and the country is your father still living if if you see yes or no in my case is still living current address you're gonna give the same address where your dad is still living street address you're gonna give the city state and the zip code and the country or region and you go to the next page 
mother is for the applicant. Surname at birth, that's the last name, that's the first name, date of birth, the city, the state or province, and the country or region. Is your mother still alive? Yes or no? In my case, it's yes. And then you're going to give the address. Street address, city, state, zip code, and the country. And then you're going to go to the spouse. Next page is going to be the spouse. Family information, spouse. This is tricky. The spouse is the petitioner. That's your spouse. Last name of the spouse, given name. It's me. I forgot to, to wire out this. This is okay. My name is Sliman in a way. This is given name. Date of birth. That's the date of birth. The city where I live. The state or province of birth. Uh, spouse address. Same as the present address. Which one we put right here. The occupation, what I do is engineering, date and the place of marriage, in my case, is not shown right here. The city where you, when a marriage takes place, the state and the country where the marriage takes place. And then you go to go to the next page. Is your, is your spouse immigrating to, to U.S. with you? In my case, no, because I live here. Is your spouse immigrating to U.S. at later date to join you? No. That's me, because I'm here in the United States. So, next, it's going to be previous spouses. In my case, I've never been married, so this is my first time. So, do you have any previous spouses? No. Or my wife. They're not talking about me here. It's talking about the, the applicant. Do you have any previous spouses? In, in her case, said no. Family information, children. Do you have a children? In my case, no. In her case, no. But, uh, preview U.S. travel information. Have you ever been in the United States? Make it, in her case, no. Have you ever been issued a U.S. visa? In her case, no. Have you ever been refused a U.S. visa? Been refused admission to the United States or withdrawn your application for admission at the port of entry? In, my, in her case, no. We're going to go to training. Present work, education, and training information. In her case, primary occupation is now employed. In which occupation you intend to work in the United States? In her case, when she comes first, she has to do, you know, she has to learn English. So I put for her student. So next is going to be a work education. Uh, name. Here, that's her education, name of, inst of institution. You're going to give the address of the institution, the city, the state, postal code or zip code, the country or region, uh, course, of, uh, course of study, what she studied, and uh, the diploma, and the date, attendance from where to. And we're going to go to the next page. Date of attendance, yeah, we're gonna go to the next page. Additional, you're gonna put if you have additional like uh, schools, you're gonna answer them right here. And the same thing, you're gonna enter the address, the, the zip code, the, the state, zip code, the country, uh, course of study, degree of diploma she, she, she got, and the date of attendance from to the date. We still are asking about additional work, education, training, and information. We're still talking about the applicant. Have you traveled to any country or region within the last five years? And in her case, she said no. Have you ever served in the military? In her case, no. Next page. Petition information. Now, the petition information is the person who lives in the United States who filed the petition for the applicant. So, what petitioner is my spouse. I'm her spouse, so I'm going to put my last name right here, my first name right here, street address, Siri, Siri right here, chief and uh, the country, uh, phone number, mobile, and email address. It is very important, the email address. In VC, 
will communicate with you only with email address. They are not gonna send you no letters. Only email address and inquiries. Security and background and medical and health information. Do you have do you have a communicable disease or of public health significance such as the tuberculosis? This is gonna be about the about the applicant. As you're gonna see no. Do you have a documentation to establish that you have received vaccination in accordance with US law? You gonna see yes. I'm sorry, you're gonna you're gonna check yes. Do you have a mental or physical disorder that possess or is likely to oppose or threat the safety or welfare of yourself or for others? Are you gonna answer a question here that apply for you? It's just a question, yes or no. In this case, you see no. In this one, I see yes because I have this vaccination record. Do you have any mental? I see this time no. Have you have or ever been a drug abuse or addict? In my case, you know, in her case, I'm sorry, not my case, in your case, no. Does the petitioner, petitioner, I'm sorry, does the applicant have you ever been arrested or convicted for any offense or crime, even those are subject for a pardon, amnesty, or other similar action? You're gonna answer yes or no, in, my, in our case, no. Have you ever violated or engaged conspira conspiracy to violate any law relating to controlled substance? No. Next page. Are you coming to the United States to engage in prostitution or unlawful commercialization vice or have you been engaged in prostitution or procuring prostitutes within the past 10 years? No. Have you ever been involved or do you seek to engage in money laundering? No. Have you ever committed or considered or, or conspired to commit a human trafficking defense in the United States or outside the United States? In your case, no. Have you ever knowingly aided or abetted, assisted, or collided with individual who has been identified by the President of the United States as a person who plays a significant role in a severe form of trafficking in persons? No. Air question, just you gonna answer yes or no. You gotta check the one that applies for you. Same thing, here you gonna answer the questions that applies for you. Yes or no. And the next question is gonna be securities. Continue. Do you seek to engage in espionage, sabotage, export, control, violation, or any other illegal activity while in the United States? No. Same thing here, to engage in tourist activity while in the United States, or have you ever engaged in a tourism activities? I'm sorry, not tourism, terrorist <laughs> activities. I said no. That's, that's for the applicant part. Have you ever, we're going to go to the next page. You're going to answer it. In this question, just yes or no. You're going to read them and you're gonna answer and you're gonna check the answer that applies for you so yes or no yes or no yes or no have you ever ordered incited committed assisted or otherwise participated in genocide no have you ever committed or ordered incited assisted or otherwise participate participated in tortures no this question just answer yes or no same thing over here in this page, just you answer or no for these questions. I'm not going to read them, it's going to take too long, just, just I want to share my experience with you guys. No, 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 no. You're going to go to the next one. Same, same thing here, just you can answer the questions that applies for you, and you check the answer that applies for you. Same thing over here, just you keep answering questions that apply for you. Yes or no. Uh, security and background, we still are, <coughs> excuse me, have you ever sought to obtain assistance for others to obtain the visa entry into the United States or any other United States immigrant benefit by fraud or willful misrepresentation or other unlawful means? Say no, no. You can answer the question, you can answer them as they, and you check the answer that applies for you. Same thing over here, you can answer the question that apply for you, I'm not going to read them. Same thing here, you can answer questions that apply for you. Here, security background, miscellaneous information, same thing, you can answer a lot of questions over here, just yes or no. Are you permanently ineligible for US citizenship? I say no. Same thing over here, same questions, you're gonna answer that one that applies for you. For example, one right to practice polygamy, no. This one, no, no. You know, I gotta read them and check 
the one that applied for you. We still have same same page. You can answer the one that applied for you. No, no. Are you a member or affiliated with the communist or other totalitarian party? You can answer no or yes for this one. I answered no, no. Hey, I just you know, just uh, summarize of what you answer. You're gonna go through by one. That's the pers uh, pers personal information for the applicant. Personal information one for the applicant. Personal information two for the applicant. Just you're gonna check everything looks good. That's the address information for the applicant. Same thing over here. Just the preview addresses. Now the fact and the. Now we're gonna go to the family page, family information, but her mom and dad. Just you double check everything looks good, because in the, at the end of the page you're gonna submit this to 60. The information that's the spouse, that's the basically is the petitioner. The previous spouses, if you have any, I said no in this case. So we're gonna answer the one that applies for it. By here, just you double check. Basically, just summary and you double check what you answered. Here. Is a travel information just you double you still here just double check what you answered same thing over here training information and education and work we're gonna go to the next one petitioner information just double check everything looks good this questions security questions yes or no go through through them and double check everything looks good same thing, security question, security information two, security information law violation information one. Just double check. You just you double check your answers. Social security number information. Do you social security administration to issue a social security number? Hey, this is very important. This is very important. You have to you must answer yes. That's to allow a social security security administration services to issue a social security number. This is very important. That's what you need. If you don't have this one, you don't have nothing in the United States. That's what you need. So next one is gonna be uh, the prepare information. This one also it's very 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 important. I will see why. Because most of the time the petitioner file this form. So you're gonna put your information as a prepare. Even if it's your spouse, but you're still gonna fight because you, you filed it, so you're gonna put your formation as a prepare. As a prepare, yeah. So we go to the next page. So we add at the end of the of this of this uh, days to 60. So you so they're gonna tell you an immigration visa and alien registration application from days to 60 has been automatically forwarded to your interview location. When you hit continue submit, they're gonna send you this. You're gonna, if you want to print the confirmation, uh, print form this to 60 email and back to summary. And here that's your, uh, and here that's your confirmation right here, and the registration application. This, this, what does it mean? This confirms the submission of the immigrant visa and alien registration application. You know that can the name, the country, completed on case number. They're gonna give you case number, and they're gonna assign alien number right here. And is, this is a case number, and this is your alien number. So this is the confirmation of the S260. And uh, this is the end of this video. I hope you like it. If you if you have any question, please email. Please uh, leave a comment. I, I I will answer you as soon as I can. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you watching. Thank you, and see you in the next video. Appreciate it.